Hello everybody. Today is New Year of 2018. I am Zofia. I live in Denmark since 2013. I came here with two children, now teenagers. My son is 17 and my daughter is 15 years old. We are celebrating Christmases and New Years in Denmark since 10 years as long as I live with my Danish husband, Karsten. But this year is different. This year we are living in threat that my daughter, she will be taken from home involuntary and put to some place. We don't know yet where. This situation from our point of view is danger for her life and for her safety. Two years ago she experienced severe psychic crisis and it happened because of overwhelming stress during integrational process in her local school. And we could see symptoms already a few weeks earlier and we asked school and commune for help and nothing happened. When situation was very dangerous and she was sick I ended with her in psychiatric hospital and we spent there a few, few weeks and it was horrible, it was hell on the earth for me, mother and for her. We asked Komune for help, for support in her coming back to life, to contact with youth and to come back to education and she needs that support. She has evaluation and opinion and recommendation from doctors that she needs schooling in the very small group of youth in protective environment, prepared to receive children with high vulnerability. And that, that school is available in Denmark, 60 kilometers from our home, but in another commune. And our commune, Northern commune, doesn't want to offer her that school. They prefer right now to put her to institutions which has not knowledge about youth in her situation. We wanted therapeutic environment. We wanted a place where she will receive professional help to come back from her crisis. And anyway, Comune decided something else. They put her to a place where are children with socio-behavioral problems, with ADHD and Asperger. And this was completely not place for child, children with her vulnerability. But anyway, anyway, we tried, and she tried because she wanted very much to come back to contact with youth. And it didn't happen. During these three months, when she was at this place, she received any therapeutic help, no support at school. She was alone and week after week she was more withdrawn and was sitting in her room. She was crying very often that she cannot go for lunch because children are screaming and they are making a lot of noise and she cannot stay there. She couldn't go to school. She was afraid of children who were explosive and screaming and crying. But we try again and again. And when I tried to support her, when I came, when she needed my support, already in first week after she went there, I have got warning from Comune that they will take her to a secret place and limit totally contact with me and her, between me and her. And that decision it was totally against psychiatric recommendations. And week after week, Comune increased violent separation between me and my daughter. They have made their own opinion then that she was sick because of me, because of my unhealthy relationship with her. They decided to cut that relationship. They consider it was symbiotic. From my perspective, it was totally without relevance, without knowledge and without any professionalism. And it was not following recommendation from doctors. My daughter's doctor has sent several warnings to Comune that it should not happen. That family should not be threatened by police. How can I offer to my daughter stability and safety? How can I trust social services if they are using violence in, in that fragile situation? 
In May, when Commune finally decided to take her telephone and totally limit contact with me, she was scared. She was in panic. She wanted to escape. She said, I will, call, I will run and if car will come and kill me, I don't care. How could I stay calm? I decided to take her from that place. Some people say that I did a criminal act by taking her from that place. And I don't know if this was criminal act, but I know I will always repeat that. And I'm, I have a question. If there is anyone who will do differently hearing these sentences from your child. Right now, I am accused for, for kidnapping my child. I know that police searching for me. Maybe I am not cooperative. Maybe I am rebellious. But who will be, who will behave differently in my situation? Yesterday, I have heard New Year's speech from Danish Queen Margrethe. And she inspired us to do something what we never did. And this is what I'm doing right now. I decided to speak publicly about that situation, about what is going on here in Northern's Commune. I decided to ask for support and for sharing that message everywhere, wherever you can. Queen Margrethe said also that we need to exchange our nations, that we in Denmark, you need also people from abroad. And I'm from Poland. And she said, we need mutual inspiration. And I have some inspiration for you. I have inspirational question. How are you dealing with situation like that? And how can you allow that to happen in your society? I will come back on this website between life and survival. I have made it now and I will continue talking about that, what is going on. I hope I will not be in prison. Even I am threatened that I can be prisoned for two years for kidnapping my child. I don't know, but I hope we will be in touch.